Omicron running rampant through West Texas. Hello everyone, I'm Crystal Cruz. That's our top story tonight. So many people are catching COVID right now. Testing sites are seeing some of the highest number of positive cases since the start of the pandemic. Rachel Robinson has more on just how high those numbers are and how the community is dealing with it. Rachel. Crystal, good evening. The numbers are staggering. 50% of COVID tests are coming back positive at Midland Memorial Hospital. And the Omicron variant is working and it's working fast, which has local leaders concerned to say the least. 2022 is starting off with some of the most positive COVID-19 cases the community has ever seen. Uh, our preliminary cases have increased ninefold from this time last month. And uh, we are almost three times higher than this time last year. 719 positives in a week is far and away the highest number we've seen. I couldn't even find 500 in a week. Uh, and this past week we had 700. So it is it is rampant in the community and the workforce uh, and, and everywhere. The culprit, the Omicron variant. The state estimates 96% of the current infections in the state of Texas are the Omicron variant. The variant moving through populations differently than previous strains. So it's highly infectious. Uh, I think the other um, couple of other indications we've seen that the, the course of the of the infection seems to be shorter. Uh, people get sick and get well faster. Uh, it seems to be less likely to to cause severe uh, lung issues. And even though the variant is less severe in most cases, people are still dying. We are still having deaths. We had 15 deaths so far in the month of January uh, on pace to be uh, one of the higher numbers we've had uh, so far during the course of, of COVID. The variant also running through schools, almost doubling cases in students in a week. 147 staff members and 451 students that are currently in isolation due to COVID-19. Uh, now, for comparison's sake, on our first Monday back last week, we had 119 employees and 276 students. The future of where we will go from here with this variant is unknown. Health officials believe getting the vaccine is a good tool in fighting it. It's very clear at this point there is no better defense against uh, this disease than to be vaccinated. And getting vaccinated doesn't mean you won't get the virus, but it does a good job of protecting you and can help you from being hospitalized. In Midland, I'm Rachel Robinson.